Thank you for your purchase of the AquaWave Classic Reverse Osmosis System. Our AquaWave Classic Reverse Osmosis System is designed with advanced filtration technology and utilizes a five-stage filtration process to purify and deliver fresh tasting water. Please read the warning and precautions in the installation manual that comes with URO system before installation. Components and parts that comes with your new AquaWave Classic are as follows. AquaWave RO system, 5 micron sediment filter, carbon filter, 2-in-1 activated carbon filter, replacement RO membrane, inline post carbon filter, RO water storage tank, RO faucet, white quarter inch connection hose, waste water clip, wrench for filter housings, and cold supply water valve. If inlet water pressure is over 60 psi, a pressure regulator must be installed and set at 60 psi. You must check and comply with all local plumbing codes. Let's start and install the water supply valve. First, identify the cold water supply line under the sink cabinet. Shut off the cold water supply valve. Turn on the cold water tap to release pressure from the lines until water flow stops. Disconnect the cold water line from the angle stop valve and select appropriate water supply adapter. Assemble the quarter inch water supply valve into the water supply adapter before insertion. Wrap the male threads with Teflon tape two to three times. Do the same with water supply adapter and angle stop valve. Then screw the water supply adapter to angle stop valve and tighten with adjustable wrench. Next, let's install the waste water clip. To do that, make sure to identify the drain outlet location. It needs to be far from garbage disposal. On foam seal, knock out the center hole. Then use the hole in foam seal as a template to locate your drilling position above the drain trap. Finally mark exact location with a pencil. At the marked location, drill 1 4 inch or 6.35 mm hole through the wall of the drain pipe. Be careful and make sure not to penetrate opposite side of the pipe. When ready, remove protective cover from the back of foam seal and then attach it to the front plate drain connector, aligning it with drain tube hole. Begin to position the wastewater clip on sink drain pipe with screws and nuts, using your pencil in the wastewater clip hole to guide your location over your drilled hole as you securely tighten nuts and screws. This next step is to map out the RO system for installation under the sink. It should be an easily accessible area to mount the RO system and determine the location for the RO storage tank. Mark holes for mounting screws 10 inches or 25.4 centimeters apart center to center. The screws should be high enough to allow 4 to 6 inches or 10 to 15 centimeters clearance from the bottom of the RO system to the bottom if possible. This is to provide space for filter changes. Hang the RO system on the mounting screws. Note that the filters come with a protective wrap that needs to be removed before operation. Unscrew the filter housing using the wrench and turn it counterclockwise. Remove filter from housing, take off and discard the plastic wrapping. Reinstall the filter into the housing and ensure the top part of the filter fits onto the centering plug in the housing cap. Check to make sure that the O-ring is seated correctly in the groove of the top of the sump, as otherwise leaks can occur. Screw the sump back into the cap by turning clockwise and using the wrench to tighten. Do not over-tighten. Moving to the RO membrane, go ahead and disconnect the quarter-inch tube connection going into the membrane cap by unscrewing the plastic nut counterclockwise. After that, remove the blue membrane from its packaging then insert the membrane end with the two O-rings into the housing until it clicks in place. Do not force the membrane to seat. Reinstall the membrane housing cap by screwing it clockwise until firmly in place, while being careful to not over-tighten. Reinstall the quarter-inch tube connection by screwing the plastic nut clockwise until tight. To install RO faucet, Remove the faucet base from the package and ensure it can mount flat against the surface before drilling in 7 8 inch or 22 mm hole to house the faucet. Drilling holes into solid surfaces should only be performed by a qualified installer. Assemble the faucet by inserting the spigot into the top threaded hole of the handle section and tighten the nut to lock it in place. 
Make sure all tubing cuts are done squarely and evenly to ensure proper sealing. Connect the quarter inch white tube to compression filter components. Insert compression filter assembly into base of threaded stem of faucet until it sits against the bottom of the faucet handle section. Insert tubing and threaded stem through drilled hole until the faucet base is flush against the countertop. Assemble remaining faucet components below the countertop. Tighten completely. Once faucet is in correct position over the sink. Measure length of quarter inch white tubing. Connect base of threaded stem of faucet to the post carbon polishing filter outlet. Now, connect quarter inch white tube from bottom of faucet threaded stem to outlet of post carbon polishing filter by unscrewing the plastic nut. And then insert the tube and screwing back finger tight. Let's install the RO storage tank. Wrap stainless steel thread connection on top of storage tank with Teflon tape. Hand tighten the tank ball valve to the stainless steel connection. Place tank in vertical position in the cabinet. Measure the tube from RO storage tank ball valve to post carbon polishing filter. Cut tube accordingly. Insert one end of tube into quarter inch compression fitting of ball valve. Gently tugging to ensure it is in place. Connect quarter inch white tube from tank ball valve to inlet of post carbon polishing filter. Locate the flow restrictor. Measure and connect quarter inch tube from flow restrictor to drain connection on wastewater clip. And now, connect quarter inch white tube from main water supply to inlet of first stage. Marked in. When all connections are done, you can continue on system startup. To begin, make sure the RO faucet is turned off. Now, turn on main cold water supply valve and ensure that the quarter inch water supply valve to the RO system is in open position. Check the ball valve on top of tank, make sure that it is in open position. For systems with pump, plug in the power supply. First, purge air from the system by slowly opening the RO faucet until water flows smoothly. Then close the faucet. Over the next two hours, the pressure in the system will increase as water fills the system and the RO storage tank. Do not use or drink the first tank of RO water. Turn off the water supply valve. For systems with pump, unplug the power supply. Empty first tank of water by turning on the RO faucet, letting it run until the water stops flowing. Turn off faucet. Turn on the water supply valve. For systems with pump, plug in the power supply. Allow the tank to fill a second time, approximately 1 to 2 hours. Now you are ready to enjoy clean, great tasting water from your new AquaWave Classic RO system. Thank you for joining us today. And for more products and information you can find us at www.globalwatersolutions.com where water gets better.